Yeah, I, I think there is a real threat of nuclear weapon use in this conflict. I believe it is very possible that the United States or the uh, regime that it backs in Kiev will use a nuclear weapon or a dirty bomb uh, to uh, try to create a false flag incident to blame Russia in order to create the extremist political conditions to uh, facilitate perhaps not a NATO but a U.S. Polish direct military incursion into Western Ukraine. I think what we're seeing with this disinformation campaign about a Russian use of uh, very specifically tactical nuclear weapons, when the Russian president has said absolutely nothing of the sort, uh, and this has been completely distorted uh, quite maliciously by the Western media when the Russian president said he would use any means at his disposal to defend the Russian people and Russia. Um, I, I think it's narrative frame building. This is this is what is going on here. Uh, we have already seen the Kiev regime launch months of artillery shelling and kamikaze uh, suicide drone attacks on the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, uh, particularly on the spent fuel containers, in exactly uh, the intent to create such a, a, a dirty bomb incident. And I, I believe that um, with with the uh, change in the Russian rules of engagement, the calling up of, of reserves, uh, and if this conflict looks to be going against Kiev in the next year and a half in a very serious way, I, I think uh, there is nothing that they won't stop uh, at two. We've heard that from the NATO Secretary General, that, that NATO must defeat Russia in this conflict, acknowledging that, that it is NATO at war with Russia.